Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome back to more Let's Play Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode we just got some heart pieces, and that's pretty much it. We kind of began a little bit of a mini quest, which generally wiped out our rupees. Now there is a chest right down there, and to reach it we got to grapple on to... Where the hell do we have to grapple on to? Hey, we have to grapple to this? Yep. Ah! Now, you would not be able to do this if you didn't have the double claw shot. Because you just gotta keep continuously using your grappling skills to get down here to this chest. Now, I believe there's a heart piece in this chest. Nope, rupees. I'll take that though, because I do need rupees, seeing as I don't have it. Now, if you actually did fall right here, you would literally go straight to Lake Hylia. We're not gonna do that right now. We're not having that. Not yet, viewers. Not yet. Uh, there is a small little island-ish thing in the Kakariko Gorge that I am going to go get because it is... I believe that, I believe that one is our piece. And I hear you, gold bug. And screw both of you. Come on. I'm gone. It's becoming evening. Okay, I guess I have to like this game. I mean, I don't have to, but, you know, I could just say... Is he coming after me? Huh? Damn it! I thought he was gonna come after me. Yeah, we can't reach those vines from right here, so this is, this is another reason why we need the double claw shot. Try to get as close as you can to that ledge. So your chest is over there. Right there. Let's see. Herpes. Yes! I should make us have 35? Yes. We're doing good. This is good. I thought I was gonna miss. Uh, I think if I get close enough to there, I should be able to be like. I could claw shot onto the vines. Nope. Could have warped out there too, but. It's fun in that. Okay, I gotta kill this guy. Didn't even see it coming. Didn't drop anything either. Now, if you generally see rocks like this, and I know I never pointed this out and I should have earlier in episodes, but if you see rocks that are, look like this, blow them up. Rupees will be hiding underneath. Yes, I understand that's a yellow rupee. I understand this is a blue rupee too. I'm no novice at this game. Okay, let's see. To think on where we can get more rupees. Or, actually, not more rupees. Well, we need more rupees as well. Uh, was there something in the other domain? I don't remember at all. We're gonna go back to the village to finish off this like little side quest. I believe it's still light enough to where we can go into shops. Yep, okay. Because Mallow, this little Mallow area will be closed during the night. You won't be able to go in. So, make sure it's like light ish. How you done? So, if you remember in the last episode, we were only 54 rupees short. Oh. Okay, how you doing? 
Yeah, now they're 2,000 short. Which is never fun for anyone, because now we have to get up to 2,000 rupees. Which, just by getting 1,000 itself, will help it a lot more. Is. Okay, well... Now that I believe the bridge is fixed. Oh yeah, I can't, can't warp here. What am I thinking? But I can warp over here. So when he's talking about someone near the east gate, or no, the west. No, east, yeah. He's talking about right. Oh, cool. He's talking about right here because there is a gateway right there. The closest way to get to that gate is the village of Eldane or Castle Town, but it's easier to go with the Bridge of Eldane so we can get more rupees along the way. Now, I know I mentioned hidden grottos in the past, and we did visit some of them, but I'm gonna start visiting those more every time I come across one because I need the rupees for this. And not to mention, I believe there are some heart pieces in them, and hi, hi. Now, there is a hidden girl right here. Uh, I'm going now. Ah. This one's full of enemies. Is that a chest over there? I can't tell if it's a chest over there, or I'm just seeing things. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I had to do that. These things don't go off fast. Ah, ah, let me be, let me be, let me be! Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Fifty rupees. That's good. Uh, yeah, no. Gone. 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 Ow. Ow. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Bloody face. Why do I need such a bunch of things down here? Alright, I'm leaving this one. Probably should turn back into a wolf. Riders are gonna be right frickin' there. Yeah. Later. There's one, two, or three. I don't care anymore. I'm still faster than you. These guys can catch up pretty quick. Yeah, look, there's a gold bug. And where is the bridge? Should be like a bridge or up oh, there to start it. They still following me? Oh my god. Now, this Goron right here, we do get a heart piece from. Oh, thank you. you see, so she's saying that we can't transform right there, but we transform right behind the guy, and he doesn't even care. Yeah, remember that for the side quest.
Okay, so we fought idiots one and two, but where's idiot three? There's always three boar riders. Where's the last one? I think that's him over there. That's just a moblin. And he's still dead. Alright. Uh, there are more hidden grottos that I'm going to be going to. Another one is up here, so I guess I'll go. Wait, what? No! Okay, I wanted to go to Castle Town. So we can go to North Castle Town and go into the hidden grotto that I hate the most. I know I mentioned it in one episode. I don't remember what episode. But call me on these things, viewers. Pig. Probably could have taken the easier way to get to it, but what's the point? Okay, now I know I mentioned in the episode that I got the gold bug from up here. That, was. that if you kill these crows that are in these trees or flying in the air, there's like a whole mess of them to murder. Like they'll drop. There'll be like a whole bunch of rupees that will just drop. Hey, no. Hey, no. Bunch of rupees. Okay, time to go to the frickin' hidden grotto I hit. Yeah, there's even a post hole up here on my head. It's not a grotto, but it's a big spot. Yay, rupees. Now, this rock right here, you cannot blow this one. That's actually you know, the ground. It's this grotto right here that I hate the most because... <laughs> Say hello to the Skultula farm.
I don't know if lighting all the torches actually gets you more rubies. Well, oh, it doesn't. Okay. Spiders! Didn't think that actually worked. That is still awesome. Ah, look at these. Oh, it's a bunch of ones. I don't care. I do believe that there are a couple of hidden grotos that relinquish a heart piece or two. Don't call me on these things, I really don't remember that much. There's usually something under the rocks. Meh. Or in the rock. Meh. Take that. I guess lighting the torches does get me something. Please let it be a heart piece. Or 50 rupees, that works too. Okay, I'm going to continue this in the next episode because I've run out of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I will see you guys in the next episode. So, until then, this is Eric, signing off. See you guys later.